World of Dentistry. Dental solutions for your dental needs. Ankylose Tooth. Hello, welcome to our channel. In this YouTube video, we will talk about dental ankylosis, the causes, symptoms, and treatment options. If you have experienced an immobile tooth, this video is for you. First, we must understand how the teeth are held in the maxilla and mandible. It is thanks to the periodontium, which is made up of the gums, root cementum, alveolar bone, and periodontal ligament. Because of the periodontal ligament, the teeth have micro-movements. However, when dental ankylosis occurs, the tooth and the bone remain intimately united, preventing the tooth from moving and developing correctly during the eruptive phase. There are various causes of dental ankylosis, such as genetic factors, chronic habits like bruxism, inflammatory lesions or infections, dental trauma, early loss of deciduous teeth, metabolic bone abnormalities, orthodontic treatment, and excessive force during chewing. In children, during the dental replacement process, fusion between the cementum and the alveolar bone can develop in the reparative phase, which can lead to dental ankylosis. The main signs of dental ankylosis are infraocluded teeth, immobile teeth, impacted deciduous teeth, dental crowding, and extruded teeth. Although this condition is asymptomatic, it is important to treat it early to preserve oral health and avoid future complications. Treatment will depend upon the cause and when dental ankylosis is diagnosed. In some cases, surgery may be performed to try to save the affected tooth, while in other cases, the immobile tooth may need to be removed and replaced with a dental implant. Treatment depends upon the age of the patient and the location of the affected tooth. In children, it is recommended to wait until the dental replacement process has finished to carry out the treatment. If the immobile tooth is temporary, a tooth extraction may be performed to allow the permanent tooth to erupt. If the ossified tooth is permanent, orthodontic treatment may be performed to align the tooth and correct any occlusion problems present. In adults, treatment depends upon the location of the ankylosis tooth and the underlying cause of the ankylosis. In some cases, treatment may require removal of the ankylosis tooth and its replacement with a dental implant or denture. Prevention of dental ankylosis. Dental ankylosis cannot always be prevented, but some steps can be taken to reduce the risk of developing this condition. The measures recommended may include maintain good oral hygiene, brush your teeth twice a day, floss, and schedule regular dental cleanings. Avoid harmful habits. Exerting constant pressure of the tongue on the teeth, clenching or grinding the teeth, bruxism, can cause damage to the periodontal ligament and increase the risk of developing dental ankylosis. Use mouth protection. If you play contact sports or perform any activity that can cause dental trauma, it is advisable to wear a mouth guard to reduce the risk of damage to the periodontal ligament. In summary, dental ankylosis is a condition in which the tooth is fused with the bone that supports it, which prevents the tooth from having mobility and developing correctly during its eruptive phase. It is important to know the causes and symptoms of this condition to treat it in time and avoid future complications. That's all for today. We hope this video has been useful to better understand the today's topic. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information.